Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to create one of the different types of gift cards you can create with our Yeet WooCommerce gift cards plugin. We're going to create the virtual gift card. Before we get into it, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now let's get to it. So we're going to see how to create a virtual gift card. A virtual gift card is a gift card sent to the recipient in an email. This gift card can also be downloaded as a PDF file. And let me show you what that file would look like. This is what the customer would receive in the email and what can be downloaded and even printed. This is the gift card image, the amount, the sender, the recipient, a custom message they can add, and here is the gift card code. So the recipient will get this code that they will be able to type in a field like this. I have enabled the option to enter the code either in the coupon code field that WooCommerce has. I would have to click here, apply coupon, or you can use it here. I can simply apply the gift card code here, apply gift card. So you're going to get this message that the gift card code was applied successfully. Here is the shirt's price, 38. And down here we find the gift card code and the discount. So the gift card is created as a regular WooCommerce product. Let's go to the dashboard to create our own virtual gift card. Products add new. So we're going to give this a name. Then we need to scroll down and in the product data tab, we will choose the gift card product type. And then we will choose the virtual type. Next, we're going to add more than one amount for this gift card. I'm going to enter 15 and 25 and 50. Now, the following options allow us to modify the gift card's behavior, okay? So for example, here we have the option to override custom amount settings. Let's see what this is in the plugins dashboard. Let me save this draft and now I'll move on to ETH, gift cards, journal. So here we have the journal settings of the plugin. We're going to scroll down. And here under global settings, there's an option to allow a custom amount. So what you just saw on the product study page is that I have the option to overwrite these options right here. I have enabled the option to allow custom amount. This means that the customer can type any amount he wants to assign to that gift card he is buying. These settings right here are applied to all of the gift card products. So by having this enabled, all of the gift card products will have the option to add a custom amount. We also have the option to set a minimum custom amount, let's say $10. This way, no one can buy a gift card for just $1. We also have a maximum custom amount if we don't want someone to purchase a gift card for, I don't know, over a thousand dollars. And then we can set right here an expiration date. Take into account that this option is set in months. So if you leave it at zero, this means that the gift cards won't expire. The recipient will be able to use it tomorrow or next year. This is of course the global setting. You can override these settings in the products edit page. We're going to save here. Now let's go to product all products and we're going to see a card that I already created. Let's view this. You see here that I have the prices that I added to the gift card as options. And then I have this box to type in the amount I want to assign to this gift card. That's in case I don't want to select any of the choices here. So I set a minimum amount of $10. So if I try to type in five, I'm going to get this error. The minimum amount is $10. This way we will make sure that the customer knows that the option he entered is not valid. So he would have to type another amount. Let's go back to our dashboard, back to the gift card that we're creating right now. Let's scroll down. We were here 
I have already set up in the plugins dashboard the option to allow customers to enter a custom amount, but we can override that option by clicking here and, and leaving the allow custom amount option disabled. This way, the customer will only be able to choose one of the options that I added here. Let me save this draft and let's see the preview. So you can see now that the custom amount box disappeared because I have just overridden that option. Let's go back to the dashboard. I'm going to disable this again so that the gift card does have the option to add a custom amount. Now we can set a discount for this virtual gift card. Let's do that. Let's say a 10% discount and we can add a text to this there. And we can once again override the global expiration dates here and set an expiration date. Let's say on Sunday. Let me save this draft. So to finish setting up this gift card, we need to either upload an image for this specific gift card or assign an image to all of the gift cards from the dashboard, okay? Let's see that last option. Eid, gift cards, style, and we're going to go over here to gift card design options. Under default gift card image, we can add a default image for all of the gift card products that do not have an image, okay? Let's upload an image right here. I'm going to select a Christmas image there. Let me save this option. Back to the gift card that we're creating. Edit. So, if we scroll down, you can see here under product image that I did not upload an image for this product. So, if I go over to the preview, I have the default image as the first option. This is going to be the image for every single gift card that doesn't have an image. But in this case, for this gift card that I'm creating, I don't want to have the default image. I want to add a different image. So let's go back to the dashboard and I'm going to add an image. Let's select a different one now. Let's add a birthday image. Okay, so I can definitely say that we have this gift card already to be published. So let's do that. Let's see the result. Since it is already published, I can click here to go over to the products page. Great. As you know, it is a virtual gift card, so the customer will have these fields to complete the delivery date if he wants the gift card to be delivered any day other than today. Then we have the recipient's info, the name, the email, which is very important since this gift card is going to be sent to the recipient in an email. Then we have the sender's name and the sender can type a message here if he wants to. So the customer can choose one of these options that I added here for the value of the gift card or he can type in a custom amount because we decided not to overwrite the custom amount option. Here's the product's image, but the customer can choose a different one by clicking here, here or here to access the gallery or he can even upload his own image here. Let's say we want to disable these options. We want to have just this one image for the gift card, no other options. We would have to go over to the dashboard to Eid, gift cards, style, and we're going to scroll down and disable the gallery. This way, the customer won't have access to the gallery where I uploaded all those images to select for the gift card. And we're also going to disable this option, the custom image upload, so that he cannot upload his own image for the gift card. Save options. Let's go back to that gift card and we're going to refresh. There, so now this section actually disappeared. I don't have an option to add a different image or to upload my own image because I disabled those options. Now this is the only image available for the virtual gift card. No other option. So let's add this one to the card. Image, amount, name of the gift card, sender's name, recipient's name, message, add to card, PO card and the gift card that I selected was $15, but 
it is worth $13.50 because if you remember, I applied a 10% discount to this specific virtual gift card. So when the customer adds it to the card and he goes over to the card, he's going to see their price with that discount applied. Okay guys, so that's how you can create a virtual gift card with our Yeetbook Commerce gift cards premium plugin. Okay guys, that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.